Hi, it's Randy Pottinger for Jamaica Good Life. I have Dana Jones with me. I've been trying to do this interview for the longest time, and um, we're finally here. She's 18 year old, and she has her own company in Jamaica. Dana Jones, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent, Randy. Excellent. Thanks for being here with us. We watch YouTube abroad. And we hear so much negative things about Jamaica, but this is one of the big positive things about Jamaica. Tell me about your company. Who are you? And tell me something about your education. My name is Dana Jones. I am an 18 year old polyglot and entrepreneur. And I think it's only suitable that I also introduce myself in the other languages that I speak. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Dana, je suis entrepreneur et polyglotte. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Dana, soy polyglotta y emprendedora. Taja hao wa jiao li li, wo da ying wen de ming zi shi Dana Jones, wo fei chang xi huan shuo yu yan, wo hui shuo wu ge yu yan. No, what languages were those? Can you isolate each language for me and, and then speak again in that language for me? So I was speaking in English, of course, that's my first language. I also speak French. I said, bonjour, je m'appelle Dana. I speak Spanish. Mi nombre es Dana, me llamo Dana. I also speak Chinese Mandarin. Wa jiao li, li. So my Chinese name is Li, Li. But my English name, of course, is Dana. Which language were you interested in first when you started to learn? Actually, it was... Chinese Mandarin that really captivated me the most and enthralled me in the world of polyglotism, which is being able to speak three or more foreign languages fluently. So I remember watching this particular series. No, I believe it was a YouTube video with a teenager who spoke over 20 languages. And I was impressed with how talented he was and how focused he was. And Chinese Mandarin was one of the languages he spoke. So I went online and, and, and started, started looking for audio and things like that. And the, the moment I heard Chinese Mandarin, um, I was just really um, impressed and taken aback. And I said, I had to learn this language. So why is language important to you? Is it for business later on or just for okay. personal? Personal reasons, 100%. So language learning is a passion of mine. So even if I didn't start Kerbakad, I still would be learning languages. My actual goal is to become a hyperpolyglot, which is someone who speaks 12 languages or more fluently. And I believe there are only 1,000 of them in the world. So I would like to be a part of that small demographic and, um, and do something as incredible as that. Tell us about your friends. How do they think about you? Are there, your friends speak multiple languages in Jamaica? One of my best friends, he speaks French very well, almost like a native speaker. I'm very impressed with him, and we converse in French all the time. I have a few friends who are also interested in Chinese Mandarin, and they have been learning, but the grand majority of my friends and people I know in general are not able to, to speak in foreign language. So you're 18 years old and you have your own company, Carib Acad. What inspired you to create this company? Let me tell you about the genesis of Carib Acad. So I was preparing for my CXC examinations about two years ago, and I remember getting a particular business assignment and for the life of me, I couldn't find any information online. So I took a break um, and I went into the shower just to relax myself and relieve myself from the frustration. And it was, it was in that very moment, I had a light bulb idea. Um, actually, it sounds cliche, but this is 100% the truth. And I said to myself, instead of complaining, why don't I find a solution to this problem and provide educational content or courses online. So that, that's how the idea um, started. That's how it um, sparked. 
And then I coupled my interest with um, learning foreign languages and really trying to help support youth like me preparing for examinations. Wow, that, that's really interesting. I don't speak any languages, but I have different tone in my voice. I like to play with, you know, different tones. Dana, you're a star. From your school, Arden, give me a little bit of history about that journey and how did you get to study so much and how did you become such a star? To talk to me about that regiment and tie in your, your family. How did your family help you to develop into what you are now today? Oh, I am so glad to speak about this. So I originally grew up in the country, St. Mary, to be exact. And I attended a school called Iona Preparatory. And I was interested in going to a co-ed school. And there are not many co-ed schools in that particular region of Jamaica. So the solution would be to move to Kingston or move to town to um, one of the co-ed schools. So I put are then um, as one of my choices and I did exceptionally well and, and got into Arden High School. So my parents, they are really supported, very loving, and they made every effort for me to move from the country to Kingston to go to Arden High School. And I'm just immensely proud and, and elated that my parents would do, and grateful of course that my parents would do, something like that for me and, and my education. So I went to Arden, I believe, September 2014. That's when I started at Arden. Um, I'm coming from a school where there are only 12 people in the classroom to a new school where there are 40 children in each classroom. Um, and I believe the cohort was 300 students in general. But that really did not, in general, but that really did not um, perturb me at all. I, you know, wanted to bloom where I was planted and really make my parents proud. So I, I studied um, very hard. I was very consistent. Um, my teachers were, were very proud of what I was doing. And I was one of the um, role model students at my school, even from grade seven. So I've been a top student, I believe three times or four times out of um, my, my six year tenure at um, Arden High School. I've been a part of the French club, been president of the French club, member of the swim team, a, a part of um, various things at school. Yes. Tell us about your siblings, if any. Yes. So I have one sibling. His name is Darren. In fact, I named Darren when I was three years old. I, I, I gave my parents the spelling and everything. He is um, a lovely person, uh, just a caring human being who always looks out for me, who's always there supporting me. He's a praying child. And he sometimes acts as if he's my older brother. <laughs> and no, no one can really tell if we're actually twins or if he is my older brother because he is much taller than I am now. Now, if you could travel the world, what are some of the countries you would travel to? Actually, one of my goals is to travel to basically every country in the world. I would love to go to France, definitely France, Belgium, um, some countries in Africa like Rwanda, Kenya, South Africa, Asia. Love to go to China, love to visit um, some of my friends who live in Taiwan and Singapore. I'd love to go to Australia, New Zealand, uh, Madagascar, that's also in Africa, South America, definitely. I have friends in Peru, um, Argentina. Basically, if I can get opportunity to travel to every country, um, I would definitely do it. Very nice. Now, let's talk about career path. We know you're the CEO of Cabricad. Here, you're mentoring and privately um, tutoring different languages. You're an expert in that. 
and mm -hmm. sees that this is examination for the Caribbean. So you currently have customers, right? Yes, I do. So surprisingly, my customers, so the, the goal was to have customers of ages, between, anyone sitting C-sex, so that would be around um, from grade nine, so 13 years old, 14 years old, to um, 17 years of age. But actually, some of my customers are adults who want to learn a foreign language, whether French and Spanish, and I, I coach them to learn to learn a um, foreign language. In fact, one of my clients just moved to France last month, so I'm really elated for her. And some of my clients are in different countries like the U.S. and Canada, so that's also a big surprise. So, so basically what you're saying, anyone who's watching this program and want to actually interact and learn lang these languages, they could just sign up to caribacad.com and they'll interact with you and you'll become their teacher. Absolutely. That is 100% correct. Yes, because with a language, it depends on what your goals are and needs are. So it's a personalized approach. So if you want to learn language for travel or, lang or a language to study in another country, I would definitely um, set a course for you um, and take you from where you are to where you want to go. Now, let's say I want to go to China and I have two, three weeks to prepare. What were the, what are the things you would teach me? What could you teach me in two or three weeks for my trip or a month if I sign up to your site? You know, what are some of the things you would teach me? It's usually what I do with my students, especially if they are adult students, is to debunk certain myths that they might have about learning a foreign language. Um, I find that most of my students that are over 20 or let's say 25 years old, they think that is is impossible for them to learn a language, like there is a limit to learn um, a foreign language. So I would explain to them that there is definitely no deadline to learning a foreign language and, and break down that process for them. Um, I would show them that pronunciation and exposure are the main things um, and things like that. So Carbacad is an online academy for learning foreign languages and for preparing for the CSEC examinations for French and Spanish. So the website is displayed there. You decide what you want to do. So if you are interested in private tutoring, once you click on the private tutoring link, you will be directed to a page where you'd um, find out, you'd click on what exactly you want to be tutored in. So are you a high school to, a student rather preparing for an examination or are you learning um, a language for leisure, business travel, something like that? So the two languages that we have available are French and Spanish and you decide which one you are interested in learning. So the way that the private tutoring sessions are done, we do it on um, a monthly cycle um, and we have packages. So the light package composes of four lessons, the casual, um, four lessons a month, the, the casual lessons compose of eight lessons a month and the standard lesson or lesson package composes of 12 lessons a month. So you choose which package is more most appropriate for you and your schedule and um, if you are for some reason oh i would like to mention that all payments are made through our website um, via our payment gateway so once you have mastercard or a visa card it will be made um, safely and securely on our website so if you are a csec student who um, is sitting exams this year or would like to prepare for exams early, you just click on online courses, you'll be directed um, to this page. So at the end of the course, you get a certification of um, completion, you get badges along the way, and you can definitely track your, your progress. Um, at the moment, um, we only have it from there and purchase the course, unless you're doing both. A 
currently we don't teach Mandarin, but um, since you're interested. So um, in order to say hello in Chinese, you'd say ni hao. If you're uh, addressing several persons, you'd say da zha hao. Um, how to say hotel is bing guan. So you'd, um, if you're talking to the cab driver, you'd say ching wen bing guan zai nar. So you're asking, you know, where the, the hotel is. And mm -hmm. um, if you're at the hotel and you like to um, check in, you'd say, Wo shang ru ju. You'd say that to the receptionist and then they'd guide you along from there, depending on what they have, the packages and all of that at their particular hotel. I think that's very possible. <laughs> I sure. can speak Chinese Mandarin, still learning every day to refine my um, craft but I definitely love the language. And of course, I would want to, to, to strengthen bilateral relations. So I find that there are not a lot of female entrepreneurs being represented, or should I say, I'm not seeing a lot of them um, present, whether on social media, in the media, or just um, existing in general. Um, I personally, and I'm speaking from myself, haven't received any limitations or um, any feelings of inferiority because I am a woman. So I, I just definitely want to make that clear, but that doesn't mean that it's not existing. So I would definitely want to do everything in my power to ensure that, um, young girls, young women, women in general can get the support necessary to start their own business because it's about having that passion and definitely using that passion to create a stable income and also um, providing jobs because once you own a business, you're providing other persons with a job and job opportunities, which would in turn help the economy and, and just make Jamaica a better place. And I would say this not only for young women or women in general but we need to see more entrepreneurs in general and more young entrepreneurs so we need to open up the mindset or, or shift what is being thought and, and the mentality entrepreneurship is very um important it's very challenging but um it is very rewarding and i'm just really excited to be where i am today Okay, so I want to say thank you so much, Randy, for interviewing me um, once again. It has indeed been a pleasure. And if you are interested in knowing more about me, you can, or any of my achievements, you can definitely um, connect with me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn name is Fee Dana Jones. And if you want to know more about Karabakad, if you're passionate about learning a language or you think you're not passionate, but you still want to learn a language, I'm the person for you. So you can check out my website, carbacad.com. The links will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much. Gracias. Merci beaucoup. All right, that's it for us. Thank you for coming out, Dana Jones. I wish you much success and continue to focus and balance. Thank you.